Hi everybody, I'm Deborah Struth. Uh, my husband Jim and I um, work for XM Transport and we are contracted uh, to drive for FedEx Custom Critical. What I want to talk to you today was about eating on the road uh, in the truck and it, let me tell you, it's been very difficult for us to find um, good food to eat. Yeah, I mean, there's some good restaurants but let me tell you when you eat fast food all the time, you really, I've been gaining the weight, so I am just sick and tired of it, of doing that, let me tell you. I am so over gaining weight, so I am made up of my mind that we're going to start eating a little bit healthier, and so I got a few little um, gadgets I want to show you that you can get um, at Walmart or Target or wherever you want to find it. Uh, the first thing is... Uh, these uh, these are little egg cookers. Uh, this is an egg poacher and this is an egg cooker. So um, the first one here is the egg poacher, and uh, this comes as a set and it came. We got it at Target. Um, so this bottom part is a little bit bigger than the top part. So what I did is I just kind of rubbed a little bit of butter in there. I cracked an egg and put the egg in, and then I por poked them with uh, a little right in the uh, yellow part. Uh, with a with a fork and then I put my seasonings on there and then you take a little half a teaspoon of water and you put that on top of the egg as well um, then you close it up and what I'm what I've got to is these stretch to fit covers um, that way if it uh, sometimes it has a tendency when it's cooking in the microwave that it'll uh, kind of the egg might pop a little bit and you've got egg on inside your microwave so um, you can put the cover over there and then if you do one egg, it's one minute, uh, both eggs are two minutes. And then you can pull it out of the microwave. It's, it's not very hot when you pull it out uh, as far as the handle is concerned. And you open it up and your eggs are poached and they make really good eggs. Um, this one is for like a egg muffin type of thing. And it gives you different recipes uh, when you buy them that you can cook. Um, pretty much the same thing. Uh, I put butter in the bottom, put the egg in there. Um, sometimes I don't uh, pierce it with a fork and put my seasonings in there, no water, um, and then close it up, put the thing around it, and cook this for one minute. And this is a cooked egg, so it's not poached at all. Um, so then uh, that's pretty good to have eggs. Um, excuse me for a second. <laughs> the, uh, the next thing is... Um, your bacon cooker. So we buy bacon and we put, the, or you can put sausage or bacon, Canadian bacon or anything like that on this and, and put the lid on and microwave that as well. Um, so you actually can have breakfast. Um, it's, we have a toaster, so we can have eggs and bacon and toast uh, for breakfast, which is good, or dinner, either one. We have this uh, thing, it, has, it does have a plastic lid. And this is like for uh, popcorn. So um, sometimes they say if you want to put a little bit of oil in the bottom, you can, um, but I usually don't. And it just makes dry popcorn. And then you can buy the seasonings to put on your popcorn if you want to, but it's a nice little healthy snack. Um, and, and all this kind of fits in there and stick that in the cupboard. Um, the next thing I want to show you is um, a spaghetti uh, pasta and more is what it's called. So it comes with uh, two lids. One of them has uh, little holes in it and it, it opens like this. Uh, so what you do is, and it's got handles on the side, you can measure your spaghetti by putting it in the holes. Um, and this is one serving and then both of these would be two servings. It has a dual purpose because then you can pull it out of the microwave using these handles and it's not hot um, because you're going to have water in there. So you'll fill the water up to however much spaghetti you have, put the spaghetti inside and cook it, um, I believe it's about 12 minutes or so. Um, then you pull it out and the lid, this lid here slides on there and um, then you drain it through this lid. Make sure the lid's on tight though because you don't want to drain it and, and have hot water everywhere. But it does strain out the water and um, I usually just strain it into a big little, a little tub area um, and make sure all the water is out and then you open it up and you've got spaghetti. Um, you can put the sauce right inside and once you 
drain the water out. You can even put the sauce on side in, on top of it uh, and stick it back in the microwave. But I usually just put that in a separate uh, bowl so that I can cook it myself, the, the sauce. Um, but anyway, it's just a few little tips. Um, and in that uh, spaghetti bowl, you can also make other things. It has a whole little book inside when you buy it um, that gives you different recipes. We also have a, a rice cooker um, that we, uh, we haven't used it yet, so I'm excited to try that. I put rice in there and the veggies on top. Um, it gives you a nice little uh, meal as well. Or you can make soup in it, uh, homemade soup if you want to. Just go buy the, the veggies and, and a piece of meat and just put that in there and cook it all, you know, for however long it takes. Um, another thing is we have a coffee maker, a little refrigerator, um, and the microwave, of course. And uh, we also got a George Foreman grill so that we um, take, you can take a, make turkey burgers or you can make a little patties of hamburgers on that George Foreman grill. And let me tell you what, it turned out really, really good. Um, so we had uh, vegetables and uh, a really good hamburger. So uh, it's, it's easy to find um, some good vegetables. I know one place that we stopped, the vegetables were so huge, all of them, the peppers and the tomatoes, and, and I just went crazy because I was like, I want all of this. Um, but you try to keep, don't keep a lot because it doesn't stay very long in the truck, um, in the refrigerator or anything like that. So you can eat healthy. It's just up to you on how you do it. And these little things hopefully will help give you an idea uh, of what's out there that you can do so that you're not spending money. I mean, it's so expensive to eat out in restaurants. And uh, besides that, like I said, uh, you can gain weight if you're not eating properly. So we hope that does help you and that you do eat healthy out here on the road. Stay healthy, stay uh, safe, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.